quite as nice as what we had yesterday evening, but I think if you wanted to go sit out on the patio or the deck uh, as you're heading out this evening, I think it would be okay. 70 degrees, temps are fantastic. 63, 54 uh, in your planner for this evening. So temps eventually dropping off into the 50s. Kind of looking good, could be better. Right on the border there, mainly because of the winds, which are going to get even stronger for most of us here in central and eastern areas as we get into tomorrow. The winds are gonna be a big issue as we get into your Thursday. Then they kind of let up as we head towards the weekend, which right now, it looks to be a scorcher for April. Uh, Sunday, we should not be setting record highs, but we may be within about five, six degrees of records on Sunday. And then still looking at kind of Monday night into Tuesday for our best chance at some much needed rainfall. And we definitely need it. Red flag warnings have been put out for tomorrow. We talked about this. You know, we had the fire weather watch. Now it's been upgraded to a red flag warning for all of central eastern Nebraska and even down into northern Kansas. Strong winds, low humidity. The fire danger is going to be extremely high. It already is out there, even despite the fact that Viper radar is trying to pick up a little bit of moisture out there. But as I said earlier, there is more wind than rainfall with these showers. In fact, this little batch that has come out of kind of Cherry County moving southward, it's had wind gusts of 45 to 50 miles per hour with it. Uh, maybe a few sprinkles here in southwest Nebraska. Y you can't even call it a tease. That's how little rainfall is coming out of these things. And the winds are much more the bigger story here. Gusting to nearly 40, Lexington, Thetford, Gusts of in the low 30s there for the Tri-Cities, and we have potential to be even windier as we get into your Thursday. Temps, though, how about 70? Grand Island, Hastings, Hebron at 73. Another day where the temps really aren't an issue. 58 in Ainsworth. Thetford at 45. That's because of that little shower uh, that did pass through. Kind of knocked your temps down a little bit. So as we look at our future cast, all this activity that's out there comes to an end as we head into tonight. It will stay a little breezy during the overnight hours, and then especially central and eastern areas. The winds tomorrow could gust over 40 miles per hour for many of you, fueling that fire danger across the region. They should let up as we get into Friday morning, and I think uh, Friday I'll still maybe a little breezy, should be better uh, than what's out there now and what will be on the way tomorrow. 39 for the Tri-Cities tonight. It does stay a little bit breezy. The skies will clear out, and then tomorrow, we're down to 60, so we do cool off just a little bit as we head into your Thursday. And again, that fire danger extremely high tomorrow night around 34 with the wind starting to let up at least a little bit. 37 up in O'Neill, 33 in McCook, 43 in Lincoln and Beatrice. Highs tomorrow expected to be down in the upper 50s to around 60 degrees. So we do come down a little bit with those temps. But your seven-day forecast, 81, 84, 81, that is a stretch that we typically see in June, mm -hmm. not April. And as I mentioned, overnight Monday into Tuesday, our best shot at rainfall. I can't rule out a severe weather threat, but with the most of the energy kind of coming in overnight, I think, I, I don't think it'll be anything too widespread. We'll keep an eye on it though. Okay. Let's put that 3470 oh. low high. You got a Friday. problem with that? I've, just a little taken aback. Oh, it's 34 in the morning. You're going to be okay. Leave it to him to complain when we've got 80s coming up. <laughs> we are looking at a Friday where it's going to be in the 70s Seems like days a over there. Swing. Sorry. Going to start off pretty chilly, don't you think? <laughs> um, just saying. Why what?